asking him about the first restaurant he gonna take you to. What's the last restaurant your daddy took you to? Because you shouldn't be coming to him to be your daddy. That's not his role. It's a first date. I want y'all to bring that down to level three. Y'all weigh on 10 with this foolishness and want to embarrass somebody. My second question is, have you ever been anywhere? Where do you take yourself? Let me see your, your checkbook registry. Let me log into your bank account and see what you feed yourself on a regular basis. Where do you take yourself for lunch or dinner? That's the next question I want you to answer. And then the third thing about this, uh, yeah, come on back over here because I need you to understand what time it is. A real lady... A lady is going to be there for the purpose of what it's for. She's not looking for food because she's hungry that she can't afford so she can take it to go and get a doggy bag. I'm going to wrap this up to go. Why? You ain't going to have food tomorrow? That's a poverty mindset. So a first date, again, is to get to know the person. Correct. To hang out, have fun, y'all should be laughing and talking. It don't need to be a steakhouse. We don't even know if you work a steak. You might just be worth a piece of bread. So ladies, young ladies, grow up. Get some maturity about yourself. You know, there's some people out here that's going to be, uh, you know, giving this woman a thumbs up or big up in her in some way. You know, I know some of you guys are out there, and I want you to practice seeing the forest for the fucking tree, okay? I want you to practice. I want you to look at this clip again and shit. You played as many times as you need, and I want you to realize just how badly this woman is emasculating her son, okay? Emasculating her son, treating him, you know, as a son husband, okay? He is her son husband. Her words bring uh, mostly of some sort of, uh, like, uh, ownership and jealousy and shit. You know, I don't think that that's what she intends to come off as and shit. And I really don't give a shit, okay? This kind of behavior has to stop. What she is telling the other women outside of her home does not matter. They are not obliged or bound to take her advice or listen to her or heed any warning she might put out about what her son will be on a date. By appearing in this video, she has crossed off a, a large number of women from that he could potentially date because they know that he is not autonomous mentally. Okay, he's not mentally uh, sound and shit, okay? He has been raised under your thumb, smashed under your ass and shit, and you continue to hamper his development, his personal, interpersonal, spiritual, and mental development and health and shit by treating him as a toddler and shit. But he's obviously of age. He should not have to stand there while you run your mouth and shit, looking for clout and views and clicks or whatever the fuck it is. Whatever reason that would possess you to get your ass on camera, you know, who you look kind of young, you know, considering the way he looks and shit, you look kind of young, and it says something about your fucking ass and shit, you know, and we know no black woman is going to listen to anything anyone says that doesn't line up with whatever their mindset is and shit, so you running your mouth really doesn't mean anything, but, you know, to us men concerned, us black men we see another brother falling off this shit, you know, a potential white knight, a beta cuck, whatever you want to call it, but definitely, most definitely a son, husband and shit, right? You have hampered his development. You have emasculated him and shit with this fucking video and shit. You should be ashamed of yourself, right? I can't say that enough, right? Any, you know, the relationship, the next relationship that your son is going to have is going to be with a woman just like you and shit. He's not going to be able to function. Uh, he's not going to be able to function without somebody telling him what to do and what to think and shit. Most likely a woman that looks like you. Okay? Is that what you want in this shit? Is that what any of your sorority of, of mouth breathers wants from your children and shit? You know, your male children and shit. Don't you want them to be shit? We already know the fucking answer. In the negative and shit, you want a, 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 a mindless robot that, that will bend the knee 
That's what you want. You don't want men in the community and shit. You want servants. Okay, you want you want slaves, you want robots and shit. This guy is gonna be one. And you're gonna have to watch another woman do the same shit. Finish the job you started after you gave birth to shit. Okay, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, you should be ashamed of yourself. And he's a goddamn fool. And his friends should tell him as much, you know, if he even has any friends that you haven't signed out for. Him. Okay? So you you bitching and everything is just telling some social path out there, some fucking narcissist, some nut job that he is right for the picking and shit. And that's you're gonna watch him be with some kind of fucked up ass woman and go through hell on the back and shit. And you ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it because the female don't care. It's gonna be another black woman with your same mindset and she's gonna take them away from you. She's gonna jaw jack your ass, give you a two piece of shit, take your son and make his life a living hell until he wishes he were dead. Said he's happy to be in a sexless marriage and shit and just looking forward to getting to his, his PlayStation and shit. Hope that he can do enough to, to make her leave him alone and shit. You know, and praying that she cheats and shit, whether he leaves or not. Alright? Because he, he won't know to get just get the fuck out that there's other options out there is that he you know he can he can think for himself and shit, okay? He really doesn't need to ask his mama, you know what he should be doing or how he should move it in society, polite society. You cripple us, okay? Women with your mindset, you will destroy the community by pampering your kid and shit, not properly raising him and shit. You, you need to reflect on that, okay? You do better. I'm out. The Black Patriarchy. A non-existent group of fictional black male power brokers not discredited erroneously jailed or outright killed by the minority majority who look the other way as they work tirelessly to shame, oppress, and outright take out the altruistic black female populace of the honorable democratic United States of America. 3K's inset bitches. These evil wealthy members of the black patriarchy are the sole reason for all the ills of the black community walking, talking, holding down jobs and doing everything up to and including giving their very lives in service to their baby mamas and baby's motherfucking kids. Their motto that strikes fear into the hearts of black women everywhere. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks.